thick paint, a style in digital painting that simulates the traditional heavy pigment effects of oil painting. Compared to my previous flat animation style, there is a need for higher requirements in sense of color, ability to simplify complex colors, logical coloring process, control over subtle warm cool contrasts. In this video, I will share my nine day journey of learning thick paint. Hope this video is helpful to you. To develop a sense of color, I started by copying this artwork without relying on eyedropper tools. The initial challenge I faced was figuring out how to start. I understand the importance of transitioning from larger color blocks to smaller ones, but it's quite challenging, particularly when dealing with leaves that exhibit a multitude of colors. How can I simplify the process? Here's a method I use. I simplify color blocks using filters. Then I copy this simplified version. After that, I refer to the original image to add details. For the second exercise, I plan to copy this photo. After adjusting the colors and applying filters, I obtained this image. However, I found that the colors were not rich enough, so I looked for Krenz's artwork as a color reference. This is the result. His paintings are filled with vibrant colors. I attempted to simplify them using filters for better understanding. I noticed a clear hierarchy of shapes, but the rich colors were lost in the process. The only thing I picked up from day two is a bit of understanding about the interplay of cool warm colors, and I hope to incorporate that into my own work. I want to make the color application more logical. At the beginning, the color blocks were very chaotic. Then, I used the lasso tool to paint colors and shapes, gradually bringing order to the painting. I unexpectedly discovered that the ripples on the lake's surface could be expressed with simple color blocks. However, I didn't achieve the subtle contrast in saturation and warmth, and the focal point remains unclear. The illustrations didn't have a clear focus because I lacked a specific theme to express. I noticed I was overly fixated on technique, even avoiding the creative process. So, how to convey my emotions through illustration? I discovered using mind maps has been really helpful. Topic, a blindfolded nun facing towards the light, but constrained by ghosts. I'm excited to have an interesting theme to work on. I spent two days completing the line art. I want to focus on the attenuation of light, with the brightest light at the center of the visual focus on the head, gradually getting dimmer in other areas. Bright spots get brighter, and dark areas get darker. Then, add in some natural colors and paint the bright areas. The basic vibe is there. Now it's time to add more detailed. I've noticed my weaknesses. I need to work on understanding the structure better moving forward. Because of a lack of understanding in structure, I will use more references. The goal is to balance the contrast between warm and cool, color compensation, and the attenuation of light. I found a background image and placed the character in it. When using this method to painting, I always feel like I am being kidnapped. I want to create something with a strong sense of form. To make it more interesting, I need to establish a theme. A girl's final meeting with her beloved. I started my painting with low saturation colors. I noticed an improvement in my approach to colors. Previously, I often relied on layer modes such as multiply and screen to simulate colors in different lighting scenarios. Now I rely more on intuition when adding colors. I use an airbrush to establish basic gradients and then employ a hard brush to refine and add details, creating a contrast between the virtual and the real. While the face serves as the visual focal point, it remains in the shadows. Beyond the overall composition, I enhance the color saturation as they get closer to the face. In the facial region, which is the visual center, I opt for higher saturation colors. I add a variety of colors to the hair. I realized that when selecting colors, I had been avoiding this area. I tried adding more highly saturated colors and enhancing the contrast. This is all I can do. Thank you for watching.